Hello techies, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss about changing the date and time formats using UiPath. I have some sample data in Excel file like name and in time. Now, uh, my requirement is to change the date and time format. As you see, the date and time format is uh, in month, date, year, hours, minutes and seconds. But now I want to change it to date, month, year, hour, minutes. And whatever formatted data has to output to a different Excel. Let's see how we can automate with UiPath. Now let's open the UiPath Studio. First, we need to read the data from Excel. For that, we need to drag the read range activity. Once we drag the read range activity, we have to give the file path. From here, we can select whatever the required file we need. Okay, once it is completed, we have to specify the sheet name correctly. This is sample data, so we need to specify the same name here. We need to specify the read range, but if you want to uh, consider entire sheet, we need to place only double quotes. And if you check the properties, there we have the add headers. If we have the headers, we have to always check this headers. If we don't have the headers, we have to uncheck these headers. So we have to create a variable for the data table. Let's say I am creating a variable DT sample data. Now we have to drag for each row activity and give the read range data table variable dt sample data and drag an assign activity and now row of name dot to string and create a variable for this str name i am creating a variable to store into the to store the value into this variable okay so now on the name is accessible with this variable like this i need to drag another sn activity with str in time and the value is row of in underscore time dot to string. So now on the name value is accessible with str name and the in time value is accessible with str in time. I want to convert the date value. So now we will use how to convert this date. So there is a method like to convert. There is a class to convert dot to date time of which we are converting. We are converting str i n time. Okay. And we are making this as string to string. Here we have to assign the we have to assign the format like dd hyphen mm hyphen yyy space hh colon mm. So so dd hyphen mm hyphen yyy h 
hh is here nothing but hours and minutes okay the m m should be the higher case because m m small lower case will be the minutes not the month okay we have to take care of that and after this we have to assign a variable so i am assigning the same variable which is stored okay now as we discussed in the use case we have to write this entire data into another excel file for that we will take the right range activity okay right range activity okay after the we will place it after the for each row so we have to write we have to write uh, the entire data using this right range so we need to select the output file so i i am clicking already i created one file that is final output data so i am selecting that and the sheet name is i am leaving it as same to same okay and the read range will be the double quotes or you can re, uh, remove entirely it will consider okay for this we require a data table okay but there is no data table we created and we are getting the inputs from uh, out outputs from uh, name and time right so this this data has to store into one data table first so for that we will create a we will build a data table okay which we will take from the build data table activity and we will define the table table columns which is not, nothing but it is a headers okay name i am creating the same as the input file we have okay in underscore time and the date for date for data format is string okay i am giving the same text and removing the text this is a temporary data table we can say and these are our headers and whatever data we store it will uh, store into this rows okay okay fine now we need to add the data every time it generates the it generates from the for each so for that we will add a add data row activity inside the for each row here we are we have to give the values is nothing but we have to give the values of str name comma str in time so str name will store here and str time in time will store here okay and we have to give a data table name again we have will create a sample data table dd output okay and we have to specify here also add data row which data table has to uh, the row has to add so we have to add the data row into dt output okay we are mentioning dt output and whatever the generated data it will stored into dt output so we will mention the same output dt output as data table and it will write the range let's see in action what will happen i am running the flow okay uh, i forgot to close the excel so i am saving this run again so the output is generated in 3 seconds if we see the final output you will see the entire uh, names and time but there is a missing one 
we are missing the headers i will show you how we can uh, add the headers in next run okay so here go to right range and check the options here we have add headers so if we enable this it will add the headers from where the headers are coming from, uh, we are getting the headers from the data table okay which we defined okay now again if we run this and check the it is it is completed in 2 seconds and if you check the final output it has triggered the correct data hope this will helps you if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel if you have any use cases please comment me so that i will try to give solutions in my further videos thank you so much